All right. Let's dance with the final Maverick of the game. We got Sting Chameleon. Yep, yep. <clears throat> now, there are two things we have to get here in Sting Chameleon's stage. We have not only the, uh... We have not only the last light capsule for armor upgrades and body parts and whatnot, but we also have our last heart tank. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into this bottomless pit. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Now, in order to get this heart tank, you can only get it after beating Launch Octopus. So if you remember what we did in Storm Eagle stage, we're going to dash, hold right, and jump. That's the only way we're going to get that. You have to wall kick in order to get it as well. Ugh. So now that we've gotten that, we're going to head up instead. For our final... <clears throat> our final stage mini boss. And this is how we get the most important armor upgrade in the game. So... This is the last real mini boss of the game that we have to deal with. I believe RTTJ55, I believe is its name. Now, its weak point is the head. That is the only point you can damage it. Now, I don't know what his weakness is, but I do know that he takes 31 charged Mega Buster, X Buster shots. We're not classic Mega Man. We don't have the Mega Buster, we have the X Buster. Now, he has two attacks. He's got a variant of the same attack, though. It's his arm attack. If he can use his arm attack and grab you and smash you into a wall. Alternatively, <coughs> he can use that very same arm attack, grab a wall, and pull himself into you. Now, I believe that also knocks you off of walls. However, if you dash under him as he jumps to the other side of the arena... He will never use his arm attack. Look at this. He suffers heavily from a case of the Toad Mans, as I call him. I mean, he's even got the same coloring as Toad Man. But he also has the same coloring as Otto. But he's one of the easier mini bosses in the game. So, beating him, we get the armor upgrade. This increases our defenses by two. So it doubles our defense, meaning we take half damage. Lucky us. And now we look like X on the box art. Alright, so now that we have everything else in the game, we're going to just speed by in here using our fancy dash ability that we got from Chill Penguin stage way back when. Remember that? That was almost an hour ago. Hoo-wee! I always dash into these things. I don't know why. Every Even in my practice playthroughs, I've dashed into that one bird robot. So we have one more ride armor section here, which gives us enough time to potentially restore our health for Sting Chameleon, like we're going to need it, though. So we do come across some other ride armor pilots throughout the game as well. However, you don't really have to worry about them. The only thing you have to really worry about is if you take too much damage in your ride armor, your ride armor will break. I mean, the ride armor isn't invincible. It does give X some extra damage and some extra protection, though. So that's, that's something. So get your roll, your boomerang cutter prepped. Because it is Sting Chameleon's weakness. Now, as soon as the fight begins... Launch your boomerang cutter. But Sting Chameleon does have a few attacks. He has his tongue attack. He has his move where he goes up onto the ceiling and shakes the room, causing spikes to fall on you. But he also has a, a tail attack. Which you shouldn't be too worried about any of them if you have the rolling cutter. The boomerang cutter, because you can stun lock him. 
So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing against him later. <clears throat> but if you use this path, this pathway I'm using, you should have no problem against any of the Mavericks. So that is ca the Chameleon Sting. That is Sting Chameleon's tail attack. However, we're not quite done. Yes, even though we've beaten all of our Mavericks, we're not quite done with stages yet. But we finally found Sigma's for- Ooh, Whoa, 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 hold up. Sigma? Who's Sigma? Hmm. Well, Sigma is this game's Dr. Wily. Seeing as this game takes place a hundred years after the events of the original classic Mega Man games, then there is no Dr. Wily anywhere, so Sigma is our big bad. And so we're heading to the Sigma Fortresses later. We're going back to Armored Armadillo stage. Why, you may be wondering. Well, if you're caught up on your Mega Man lore and know what we're doing, we're getting a secret 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 light capsule. Now, in order to get it, you have to have everything else in the game. All the heart tanks, all the sub tanks, all of the all the armor upgrades, and you have to have all the weapons from the Mavericks. That's the only way you're going to get this thing to spawn. <coughs> But all right, we're good on we're good on extra lives. Now there is a particular reason I grinded up lives and not sub tanks. The thing is, you actually don't need full sub tanks in order to get this thing to spawn. You just need all of the sub tanks. You don't need them all filled, which is a plus. Now, where does this secret light capsule spawn? Is there a is there a secret passage in which we couldn't access because we needed everything else in the game? No. In fact, I showed it off on our last visit here. Now, in order to get to said light capsule, we actually have to go back to where that non-suspicious energy capsule was. <laughs> Apparently you can't switch weapons when when you're uh, in the middle of viewing that fire wave animation. Good to know. So, the reason I grinded lives was so I can survive getting the light capsule. Now, in order to get the light capsule, we have to come up here, collecting that suspicious energy, and then jump off. Now, that's not a mistake. We gotta do that about four more times. Thus the reason I said we have to... That's the reason why I grinded the extra lives. Not so I can, uh... Not so I don't get a game over, just so I can get... Just so I can survive collecting this last light capsule. Am I full on... no. Now, like I said, you don't actually need full sub-tanks in order to get this, due to contrary belief. You just need all of the sub-tanks. And all the heart tanks, but... But that's beside the point. It spawned and I died! Oh! It's still here, good. <laughs> so this is our secret light capsule that we get only from having everything else in the game. So entering this light capsule, we get... a special attack. The most powerful one in the game. Yeah, we get the Hadouken. Alright. Now, in order to use said weapon, I'm going to come in here because there's no bottomless pits. <laughs> now, in order to use this weapon, 
you basically do the Hadoken motion from Street Fighter. So quarter circle on the D-pad of the control stick and the attack button. Yeah. But that's how you use the Hadoken. However, we're not done. We're actually gonna leave the stage one more time, just so I can fill up this. And then I'm gonna go grind more lives, so... I'm gonna use that same bat... No, not Sigma. I'm gonna use that same bat in order to grind up my extra lives. Which is... Which for you classic Mega Man aficionados will notice is directly from classic Mega Man.